are to New York and speak to uh, Yuri Sergeyev, Ukraine's ambassador to uh, the United Nations. And uh, Ambassador, thank you very much indeed for your time. Uh, and it was a pretty rough session that took place last night, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it was tough because uh, we did not understand the reason why Russia Federation conveyed this session. Well, what have you, what have you, I don't know whether you've just heard the interview I've just done with Andrei Korturnov, who's a former foreign affairs advisor to the Russian parliament. He says the last thing we want is to invade eastern Ukraine. There would, no good will come of it. So the, the, the study to persuade the, the Security Council members that uh, they had no intentions, that nothing is really going on serious there, but we, uh, we brought the facts uh, of the Russian direct involvement of their special forces and their saboteurs in many regions. Uh, we gave these facts, and today it was uh, broadcasted um, uh, widely, the, <clears throat> the radio communication between the Russian militaries and the Ukrainian uh, separatists, they are gathering in a small group uh, and uh, giving them weaponry and organizing this, uh, this seizure of the administrative buildings in many, in many regions of, of Ukraine. So I, I, I listened to the, uh, your conversation with the Russian parliamentary uh, person and uh, uh, still we are to understand that the parliament of Russia took the decision giving the permission to the president of Russia to uh, to bring the armament forces to Ukraine in any, uh, uh, in any opportunity they found it's uh, uh, adequate to protect so-called Russian-speaking population. One of the things you've asked for is for UN peacekeepers to be sent to eastern Ukraine. What good will that do? So I, I know that uh, today uh, the uh, Ukrainian authorities... Uh, uh, in their communication with uh, uh, the Secretary General asked uh, for the peacekeepers. Uh, but uh, we know exactly the role of the peacekeepers uh, not to interfere but to be in between uh, the hostile parties. But I don't think that it uh, could be easily realized because of the Russian veto in the Security Council. That's why you, we are looking for <clears throat> um, alternative uh, resources of our external help uh, um, to uh, to assist us with the uh, joint anti-terrorist oper operation which is now in, in action. Your president said that unless these uh, rebels, I don't know what you want to call them, the people who are occupying uh, the police stations, pro-Russian activists, uh, unless they surrendered there would be a counter-terrorist operation against them. They haven't surrendered and they have perceived the Ukrainian state to be weak and have taken another police station today. So the, uh, we have a law on anti-terrorist operation which provides uh, different, uh, different measures. So uh, we, uh, mm, we count a lot on the local population which is uh, not uh, in its majority, not, so, not pro-Russian. Uh, they are protesting but the, their protests, they are uh, the peaceful. Uh, we are to protect uh, first of all them uh, and their rights and then to find the appropriate ways how to <coughs> how to cope with uh, this uh, group of weapon separatists and led by the, uh, mm, uh, by the Russian officers. So uh, uh, all, the, all, these, uh, all these acts in operation are provisioned by the law. And just a kind of, I want a final thought from you really on the diplomacy of this. Um, how confident are you that the Europe and the United States, although offering verbal support, will actually take tough measure, measures against Russia if they did cross the border into eastern Ukraine? Uh, as we understand from um, the statements, both from Europe, from United States, from other countries, that they are prepared to, um, uh, to move uh, uh, and to present other steps which could stop Russians. Uh, uh, so we, uh, we still believe that uh, uh, we, uh, we, we, have, we have this kind of the support. OK, Yuri Sergeyev, uh, Ukraine's ambassador to the United Nations. Thank you very much indeed uh, for joining us live there from uh, New York. Just to say we're expecting a news conference shortly with Cathy Ashton. Uh, the